Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer here. Welcoming you back to Saga Log episode 1, 211. I cannot believe we're in the, like, like in the high, like, or not high 200s, but like, we're about to be in the, like, two teens. Like, what the frick? Anyways, let's go over the team. I know this is like a quick, like, what's going on, but like, anyways, we have a couple of new additions, as you guys kind of saw last episode. Siren is the Mon that died. The number that struck her down... It was an 11, so she almost survived again somehow, but it did strike her strike her down finally, so she did lose a roll. Uh, but we have Nick with Venom Drench, Poison Powder, Acid Spray, Cotton Guard. We have Hentai with Bubble, Lovely Kiss, Poison Fang, and Toxic Spikes. I really like the thought process behind Toxic Spikes, but it could go really wrong. Then we have our... Grass Pledge, Aurora Beam, Glaciate, Frost Breath, Jolly Roger, who can't have be uh, paired with the Water Pledge, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> with the, that moves up. And then we got Dino with Aerolite, Aeroblast, Strength, Return, and Dizzy Punch. We have Pincushion Cat with Facade, Blaze Kick, Sky Drop, and Horn Drill. And you know, I know I might have, you know, set it in the discord and you know i might have it on the layout and you know you don't remember me seeing this having this pokemon and what the frickity frack but during grinding like i said i posted it in the discord i even posted like two real time when i caught it too we got this bad boy we got satan the sap sipper lick twister Hex, Shadow Punch, Garatina, Shiny, freaking finally, we got one that y'all are going to kill in 10 episodes, but we got one. <laughs> That's what matters. Uh, I cannot believe it. We also have, you know what's funny is it was kind of like, this should have been foretold to us, right? Like, oh, pfft, of course, my game's going to decide it wants to break, but... You know, it really should have been foretold simply due to this fact right here. We have the Grissius Orb. We straight up have the orb for it. And we could, at any moment, boom, got it, nab it, blah. And so it's like, but, and I looked at it, I'm not going to lie, when I trained him, but I did look. I did look, okay, like, I wanted to know. I had the aura, but why not? We The other ability is Inner Focus, which is both really good, and I will take either of them. But for right now, I am going to prioritize defense, because uh, I need it. And uh, let's figure out who we're going to lead with. We're not going to lead with Satan. Um, I almost want to start by getting the spikes up, but I feel like that's just wasting turns that I don't need to be worried about. Nick's moveset's very rough and not great right now, so we need to fix that somehow. Um, and we have a lot of vulnerability right now. That's kind of the state of the team. Is It's just a lot of vulnerability. So I'm going to go ahead. Since we're in double battles, I got to go. I'm going to go ahead and go with Jolly Roger. Actually, we're in Devil of Battles, which is more reason to go with Nick, right? Do we have potions? Do I have that, at least? Probably not, knowing me. We have 10... Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We, I mean, we have to be okay. That's the problem. If y'all don't mind, I'd like everyone to have a Pokemon battle. We should pair up. Let's go. Uh, J Carp and Jonas with J J Shady and me. Uh, sure, I guess. This is what we're doing. We don't have much money, so we gotta go for it. Carp, Dosclops, and Rhydon. Ah. <laughs> and Joylius with Beauty Fly. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to start out with the Cotton Guard. 
because I feel like that's the makes the most sense. We're the fastest on the field somehow. Um, so let's just bolster our defenses here. Because, yeah, like I said, we have to. Rock Tomb into Joy. Joy gets knocked out instantaneously. And Dusclops Shadow Punches into us and does like three damage. Oh, <laughs> Insta Samson. Okay then, Joy. Didn't think it was that rough, but apparently it is. Apparently you're that mad that you let with a Beetlefly, but I mean, I guess I, that makes sense. I mean, would you, would, I mean, I would kind of be upset if I let with Beetlefly too, so like I can't give her too much crud. But yeah, we're gonna max out our defenses. We cannot get hit physically, basically, at all. I think that's a smart idea. Powder Snow hits both. Okay. Rock Tomb on Samson again. Ow! That is a very tough ride on if it's doing. Why did we double? Why are we doubling into Joy? Oh, I need to do some work instead of just set up. Um. Joy's probably just like, hurry up. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Joy. Aqua Jet. Oh. That was the wrong Pokemon. Okay, Joy. Mud shot into me. Wow, that th dude, I'm at plus four defense and that thing is just tank trucking things. And I'm like, okay, can you not just truck everything? That's gotta be a huge power, right? That ha that has to be a huge power freaking right on or something because there's no way it's doing that much damage. I'm not very effective, what the heck? Get de dead because I lowered your special defense harshly? Yeah, perfect, okay. Shadow Punch into me, that does nothing. Gastrodon. <sighs> You know what? I might actually be of more use doing this. And like chunking them down like that. And I'm I'm I am perfectly okay with oh boy. Oh no. Back to what I was saying, I'm perfectly okay with taking down that side of the field, not worrying about the other side of the field. He had to go and lower my special defense. Gosh, diggity darn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna super potion. That makes the most sense, but still, yikers, Batman. We can't have that happen. Whirlpool in. I mean, so this Krabby, the way this Krabby is set is, um, is this now dead? Um, is, it's a trapping Krabby, okay? Which I'm not quite sure how I felt feel about that. Hurt by poison, can't be clamped now. Magneton. I feel like Joy actually goes for the Gastrodon here. Joy does not. And Joy paralyzes me. Joy. Joy, why, why are we paralyzing me? I mean, you got attacked into, dude, Joy is getting hard targeted, and this is, I'm not, I'm not dealing enough damage to output. I have to switch. I have to switch, like, now. I'm not, there's not enough output happening. Ah, uh, oh, that was Joy's full corner. Okay. Also, did, did, was that Jonas that had a skinny? Ugh. Yeah, there's two, there, uh, there's too little output happening that I need to, I need to be cautious. And I think my safe play is going into Dino. Oh, I hate that, though. I don't like the fact that my safe play is Dino and abusing the power of Dino. But I'm like, I look at this team, and I, I see a lot of potential to just bop, right? And I see that there's, like, I have a good setup and a good kind of... I mean, my core is diminished from losing Naruto and stuff like that. But still, it should be doing more, and I should be able to not have to worry about certain situations like that judgment into who also how come you have judgment and not me uh, i'm a little jealous okay oh critical that's a kind of awkward time for you to send out critical but i um, mean i'll take it like i can't believe that like 
out of all Pokemon that has to help me bust through things, um, it's going to be Dino. Also, I just caught something that I'm going to hopefully be able to fix in time. Yeah, there we go. I think I did it. There we go. And then I shift this over. Uh, oh, it's magic. I didn't realize that magic was going to come out this soon either. Okay. Um, that's okay. Sorry, I did my fixing. That was bothering me. I was like, you guys get to the experience bar. Um, okay, well, I'm going to murder freaking again. Where I'm, I'm t uh, my game plan is to target down. That would be Jonas's side. Um, I'm not worried about Garp's side as much with the way that my team is structured. So, if I can target down Jonas's side as much as possible, that's what matters here. Hmm. Drudagon. And we're clamped in. We are trapped at this point. So, do I go on the offensive? Um, I'm going to. Drudagon. I'm going to attack into the Drudagon. Like, at this point, attacking into the Drudagon is definitely feels like the best play. Even though Jonah, or like, Carp has his, like, ace out here right now. And I'm getting, like, targeted in many ways I'm gonna heal up because again they're going for me they're going for Dino which makes a lot of sense I mean in, in their situation I would be going for Dino probably as well with the way the Dino is right so I wouldn't be seeing Volcarona as big as it of as or as of big of a threat there we go words Volcarona <sighs> Wither dancing. Ooh, that's fine, actually. But I, that just means I have to further attack that side of the field. Because that can become a quick threat. And even though... Yeah, no, I can't I can't even risk any any sort of quick threat happening. So I'm going to return into the Porygon 2. Who's going to get signal beamed. And I'm going to return. Okay, so we're both faster. We doubled into it, which is smart. I'm glad we did that. Uh, but again, we're leaving Carp's side alone. He's not setting up. He's just hitting Clamp. So I think we're going to be okay. Jonas, or Jonas still has Mons left on the table, though, I'm assuming. There's just 8,000 animations to play beforehand. Nope, Jonas is done. Ooh. So yeah, we we just we take this then. Cool, we got it. We are solid. Poor freaking Dino already gaining like 800 levels from this fight though. But I mean, technically then this fight that just makes it a lot easier because then the next episode's just gonna be like going to Team Flare, doing Team Flare things, and then it's a lot more skipping head. But oh, we're giving me options. Stop. Can I get rid of strength? I so wish I could get rid of strength. This head, but 70. I mean, oh, what do I care more about then? Confusion or flinches? I think I care more about flinches. Yeah, I care more about flinches. Same base power, same everything. I'm going to care more about the flinches. We're pretty fast as is. I think we have 101 base speed or something crazy like that. Drizzle. <sighs> I'm all like that having drizzle. We don't have to stay in though now. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Jolly Roger from here. I think Jolly Roger, I'm gonna let Jolly Roger take this. Uh, he needs to prove himself. So uh, this is a prove yourself moment, Jolly Roger. Oh, Glacid attacks both sides. I didn't know that, actually. I did not know that was a split damage move, but apparently it is.
Amber Palm. I still trust it. I'm still gonna. Fr I'm gonna Frost Breath instead, though. No, I'm not. I'm gonna secure the kill. False swipe. Oh, well, thanks for keeping the Volcarona alive for me. <laughs> I appreciate it. On top of the fact we slowed it down, so I mean if it wouldn't have if it would have not died there, it was gonna die otherwise. Oh, you know what I just realized? My uh experience share is uh currently not on anymore. I mean I guess to be fair, do I really need it on right now? No, not really. So I guess it's kind of a good thing that it's not on. Cause when I was training the other two Pokemon, I was like, there's no reason to have the experience share on. And I mean, I was right. There's literally no reason, but um, that that's good to know. So yeah, I'll keep it off for now. I like I like like our levels are fine. I think that the biggest thing is just kind of making it through and trekking through the areas that we have to. And honestly, that that should not be an issue. That shouldn't be a thing that we have to worry about. Um, if I go up, there's a healer girl. So I'm not gonna. I will not waste my time on this area with the healer girl standing right in front. Oh god. If I would have flubbed that, that would have been so bad. Okay, Pokemon are full of energy. I appreciate that. Let's get our... I guess that's the only oof, is that now without that experience share, we're level 21 on this, on this so well, eh, that could be bad, but... A Mothem, hmm. I mean, that gets rid of the entire Burmy line. Let's go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Lovely Kiss. I mean, even though Mothim is really gonna do like, wow, that did a lot more than I anticipated from a Mothim. But, we have 20 Pokeballs. Okay, well, I, I feel like it's a Mothim and we're a uh, Tentacool. We should be able to Poison Fang it. And it should be able to live just fine. Yeah. We actually have enough for one more. Because it should not wake up from this. Yep. Perfect. So yeah, this is good. We'll get it to about half. We'll not hit it again. And then we'll we'll try and go for the uh, Pokeball here. Because if we catch it, then we're solid. Then we go to Route 8. And then we hang out. We do our thing. And we'd be happy. Yeah. Because if, I mean, my goal in this episode is to end, like, in Ambrit Town and then talk to the Fossil Dude. And that, that that would be, I think, a perfect situation for us, is to end there. Because, like I said, we are, I want to truck along. Like, this is what we're doing today. Say you know. Say you know. Or say you know. Whatever it is. Merle close Merle Cl Merle Coast. <laughs> yeah, I can't speak. Um, super potion, don't use, but move it up. Isn't there an item? Stop it right there, yo, y'all. We gotta stop. We gotta hang out. How's your tentacle? Like, oh my gosh, here's your Kalos Coastal Kalos Pokedex. It's like so cool. You will actually absolutely need it. I appreciate your concern and your want to help. Um, oh boy. I went on the side that I'm not used to and yet I paid off because freaking of course it did. I didn't know this was here. I mean, it didn't really pay off that bad, but I didn't know this entire like puzzle itself was here. So the fact that I did not know this puzzle existed and the fact that it does is quite hilarious. This is my encounter, by the way. Oh, we take that. It also has Intimidate like normal. That's funny. We, that's a taker. We, I'm definitely a taker on that. Barrage, that's going to hurt, actually. That's going to do quite a bit. Unless it hits twice, which it did. But this is a Staravia. 
That's a backup power in the PC for later. It's a Pokemon that should be an easy-ish capture, so I'm gonna go for it. Yo, honestly, this is this is going great. Honestly, I like this. This is this is happening. This is things are going quite well. We stand. We stand. I'm gonna name you Furleys. Furlease. I don't know. That's just what I wanted to name it. That's like half of my names. I don't know. I just wanted to name it this. And you're just like, okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I kind of wish I got this. Not gonna lie. I kind of do. Because <laughs> traveling around with a stun fist would have been hilarious. But we are not going to be doing that. Not that it mad or anything. Because I mean... It's, it is what it is. It's just natural. A stun fist could be the mod that, <laughs> that we would have encountered if we made it further. Oh, is that a... Do I have to, like, complete something for that item? I, prob I probably do. I'll come back to it later when I'm not freaked out about literally everything. Okay, I'm not going to deal with that trainer. Because, again, like, some of these, this this area in particular, people get worried about. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to deal with the, the worry and the what people are worried about. Because, well, let's be honest, I'm worried, too. I'm a over-worrier, so uh, let's not say we did. It's my mentality on a lot of that stuff. So, hat. That would have been an interesting encounter, too. We don't have a runaway, like... So game, remember when I was joking and literally saying, if we don't have Runaway, that could be kind of scary. Really? Here's the positive though. This is a special attacker. We're a special tank. So positive. That's a positive note. It's just that we don't have much to hit it with either. But we need to find a way to slow it in slowing it down, so. Oh, that might have been our that might have been our key right there. We're still slower. Wow, I didn't expect us to still be slower. That did 10, so a crit would do 15. Oh, we're fine. We're chill. It really out here living on 1 HP. Are you kidding? Really? It really was out here and it lived on 1. Okay, like, I get, oh my gosh, I get it, right? Like, you have to live, and you have to do your best and try your hardest to live. But one of all the things to live on, one, like, really? Let's move on because I'll be triggered by the fact that that happened. Um, forever. <laughs> Knowing me, I get triggered by that kind of stuff super easily. Oh, that I don't have to do anything with. Okay, that. Never mind. I can just. I will. Ta I will snag that item since I, I. I thought that I had to do more to get it, so. I was like, I'll get it later. This one you don't need to do much with. An AV. Ooh. Wait a minute. I know who that's going on.
because you have all physical moves right now. Oh, wait. I messed that up. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, Satan. But, uh... I meant to give that to Jolly Roger. I'm sorry, but Jolly Roger is the one that deserves it. Jolly Roger needs to be, like, the tankiest of the tanks. Okay, that was just the plain old wrong way. Okay. But if Jolly Roger is the tank of the team, this, like, either or, but I think that Jolly Roger makes a better uh, AB user because Jolly Roger has all attacking moves, so it straight up fits the narrative of Jolly Roger. Um, he's wearing the vest, he's got everything going, he's doing his thing, having a good time. Are you going to Sedgwick Field? I mean, did you know that they changed it to Lumen Field? But okay, I mean, like, it's fine. It's okay, Joy. You, you, I know you know that, but like, also, it's, I still don't know why. Oh, I know why, but it's like, it's hard for me to, you know when a change happens and you're like, Oh, this change happened, blah. And that's kind of how I feel with that. Because, like, CenturyLink Field, I have so many memories of because I literally, like, worked my butt off to go there so many times. Because, um, you know, I love my team and loved my team forever. But, it's like. It's one of those. It's just one of those, like, it's, it's always been. CenturyLink to me. No, it hasn't, but like since I started going, it's been CenturyLink to me, okay? It was Quest Field for a while, and then it was the Kingdom. Like, okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. Things change. It's fine. Actually, like, but that's the thing, like, right? Because Quest Field, like, I remember that. We're like, we're going to Quest Field. Do you remember? Do you remember when Quest was a thing? Like, the Quest Internet? Like, that, that takes you back that takes you back because you're just like wait a minute why does that just well, that was like yesterday was not that it's like nope that that nope it was not but you know you would wish it was that <laughs> yep that's how it feels it's like how in the world did that much time pass since this quest field i don't think it's been called quest field since like 2011 maybe maybe 2010 i don't know necessarily when they changed it but yeah so that's the crazy thing right it's, oh wait we have to talk to this person i am gonna get my encounter i know these videos like are ha are and have been a little bit longer than i would like them to be but I mean, we're at 28 minutes. If we get an easy capture and counter thing, then we take on Team Flare next episode. Do Route 10. That then, then we're fine, right? Because level the next gym is level 28. So, do you know these stones are like everywhere? Oh, you know what? They're talking about stones. And they're talking about going to Glittering Cave for the stones. Am I able to hit? Oh, wait a minute. Will that break the game? I will um, get my encounter a save and then see if that breaks the game. Because it might, because it's actually the, the fossil you're supposed to get. And so it might be like, yep, you don't have to take on this section at all. Okay, a Route 9 encounter is a, you know, thing not easy to catch. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we get something easy to catch. Raikou shows up. Um, well, we got a swap doodle because there's no way I'm letting my freaking Pokemon just get Baba Doodled by the Raikou that's in our face right now, but <sighs> Eerie Impulse. That's actually great for us. That lowers our special attack. And uh I will want you to hit me with that one more time. Okay, maybe not. I should be able to not kill. Yeah. Magnet Rise. Ooh, I like that. I do actually like that a lot. So, Airy Impulse, Magnet Rise, Electro Web. That lowers my 
this seems like the weird electric type sets that you'd see in like um in Oris or in uh not Oris in um VGC something like that This is like total VGC material. Okay, I think I've got room for one more hit. Yeah, that's as far as I'm willing to risk it. Okay, time to go for it. I mean, it's in the red. I can't put it to sleep, realistically speaking. I mean, Electro Web is the only move I have seen that is also... Oh, oh, a Charge Electro Web. That could freaking murder and, like, that could go horribly wrong. So, yeah, let's not try that. <laughs> let's just not do that. I mean, Raikou is kind of being nice. So, I'm not gonna, like... I'm not gonna tell it no. It's being kind of. It's being quite nice. It'd be another freaking crazy mon to have on the team if something ends up perishing. But yeah, it's going for charges. There's the charge electro rep. There's the double the damage that I was expecting. Um. So yeah, I don't. I don't want to risk that. I'd rather just start throwing pokeballs and like hoping. Uh, well, I say that, and I'm going to second guess myself because I like to do that. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, I can put, I can actually, I have free, I have free opportunity to put you to sleep now. Cool. I mean, if it's going to give me free opportunity like that to put me to sleep, then uh, I'll, ta or put it to sleep, then I'll take it. It's just not what I was wait waiting for. Okay, it is asleep. It is a legendary, so it'll be difficult. But it's asleep, and it's we gotta do what we gotta do here. It was slower. Or it was faster, excuse me. So we got to just know that much. So if it does wake up and use charge, to be careful. Still asleep, okay. It might try and magnet rise. I'm gonna throw the other Pokeball. I I'm ho I have hope and faith that I can catch this, but this could go horribly wrong. You're still asleep. Wow, you are uh, in a deep sleep, Raikou. You should join our team. And that if you can sleep that deeply, you need to join the team. Woke up. Used magnet rise. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Let me put you to sleep again. I feel comfortable putting you to sleep again. Because you're just spamming Magnet Rise, which, I mean, you do you, but... Like, the fact that you're not attacking is in interesting to me. And I'm wondering if there's a reason that you're not... You're choosing not to attack. Because there's got to be. There's got to be some reason that you're choosing not to attack here. So I feel like you really should be. We got it. We we did catch it, and I so want to. I want to know. I really do, really badly want to know why it was doing what it was doing. Because again, there's got to be some reasoning and logic behind it. Right? Okay, like I said, I'm gonna save here and hope that what because this is where I'd be okay if the game crashes. I would want it to save me. So, because of that, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to make sure that that if it does, like I said, if it does want to crash me 
or have me skip. I mean, if it wants to have me skip the entire section, I won't be mad, but I don't want it. Oh, uh, I kind of will, because I'll be getting rid of, uh, okay, nope. He's chilling here, so you can't even revive the fossils yet. Okay, cool. Well, in the next episode of the Slog Walk, we'll be taking on Team Flare. We'll have a hangout with Joy and all the fun stuff that goes along with that. But I love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.